Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Usaka pagtuo. Usaka tingog. Usaka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang sa alas. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Duha ka mga senador nagpositibo sa COVID-19. Kunsel Pesquera mo'y napiling bagong presidente sa Philippine Counselors League, Cebu City Chapter. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyong sang puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita, Senador Aimee Marcos, iksoon ni Presidente Bongbong Marcos, nagpositibo sa COVID-19. Kini ang ipahibaw ni Senate President Juan Miguel Zubere kagahapon. Human nga ang Senadora na kasinatay o gahilanat atol sa virtual preliminary session kay Numduman nga si Senador Marcos dinhi sa Sugbo ni Adtong Sabado atol sa premier showing sa Mid in Malacañang o nakikinabi kini sa mga sakop sa mga lokal nga media atol sa press conference ni Adtong Miyerkules laing senador nga nagpositibo sab sa COVID-19 mao si Senador Alan Peter Cayetano Nagpadayon karon ang Brigada Skwela apan pipila ka mga tungaan sa Dakbayan sa Mandawi ang wapag hapon maayo. Hinundan nga ang bana na lang sa so usaka magtutudlo mo ay niayo sa iyang classroom. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Mary Rose Sagarino. Makita gihapon ang dakong kadaot sa usa ka building sa Umapad Elementary School sa siyudad sa Mandawi, gumikan sa Bagyong Odet. Wala pa nasugdan ang pagtrabaho ni Ini. Sa nagkaduol nga pag-abli sa klase karong Agosto 22, padayon ang pagpangandam sa tunghaan. Sa usa ka classroom ni Ini, nangunay sa pag-ayo ang asawa ni Amelia Linaw, usa ka kindergarten teacher. Oh, gamit ko sir, kaya tumangan mo ng mga classrooms. Uh -huh. Kinto ba niyo? Mas ba na sa'yo mong ipatag ko? Oo, ako na mas ba na Kay? Kay, para masave-save ka ba? Gipalit lang sa school lang, mga bapat lang ang mga kahon. Tungod sa kakuwang sa classroom, hayan mo patuman o emergency classes ang tunghaan. Ipagamit na ako kaning e-classroom, even though nga kanang sudlan na siya water, kay anyway, magamit naman di hapon. So, naami session 1, naami session 2. Okay, para ma-accommodate ang kanang bata. Wala pa siya natandog so far. Um, pero nag-promise naman ang kuan, ang city government. Nag-conduct naman sila of inspection there eh. But syempre, we know naman sa government na mo-under ko pa o mga process, di ba, bidding, mga imunana. So medyo nadugay-dugay siya. Sa miaging school year, adunay Noy Bisintos 94 ka mga tinunan ang nagpa-enroll sa umapad. Sa kasamtangan, Kapin City Sintos pa ang nagpa-enroll apan nagpadayon pa ang pagdawat sa mga estudyante. Mary Rosa Garino, CCTN News. Cebu City South District Councilor Jocelyn Pesquera mo ay napili ng bagong presidente sa Cebu City Chapter. Philippine Counselors League. Nasairan nga si Kunsel Pesquera usa sa mga bitirana nga konsihal diya sa konsiho o nibalik na kinikaroon sa iyang posisyon sa miaging nga eleksyon. Gihulipan ni Pesquera alang sa naangko niya nga posisyon mao si Vice Mayor Raymond Garcia kinsa mausab ang presidente sa Cebu Chapter sa Vice Mayor's League. 
napili usab nga vice presidente mao si Kunsyal Jerry Guardo ingon man ang secretary general nga si Kunsyal Noel Wenceslao. Gobernador Gwendolyn Garcia nangita og mga pamaagi aron mulambo pa ang ilang koleksyon nga kwarta dinhi sa probinsya sa Subo ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Gian Navarro. Gihangop ni Gobernador Gwendolyn Garcia ang naimong report gikan sa Department of Finance di inalakip ang Subo sa top 10 provinces nga dunay dakong local revenue generation. Kung may numduman, ana sa number 10 ng Sugbu nga doon 835 million pesos ng locally sourced revenue collection niya itong fiscal year 2021. Gani milabaw kini o 142% gikan sa target ng 585 million pesos. Tungon nini, ipasalamatan ni Garcia ang Office of the Provincial Treasurer o Provincial Assessor's Office tungod sa ilang pagpaningkamot. Now that we are number one, then they will have to maintain it. And so I call on them. They cannot go lower than the previous target. We have reached mubo masag target 500 million ra. Di sempre pag abot og 800 million taas ka ayuta. Tungod po sa Bini, gihagit sa gobernadora ang mga departamento sa Kapitolyo nga magbaton og kaugalingong tinubdan sa kinitaan kon revenues alang sa probinsya. Gihawag ni Garcia ang Pedro sa pagpangita og mga kasapaan nga may mong kakuhaan og sand and gravel sa umaabot. Samtang plano usab sa Kapitolyo nga ma-develop pa ang mga gipanag-iya nilang luna sama na lang sa Larsians kinimutang sa Osmeni Boulevard o usa ka bahin sa IT Park. In fact, this will be offered to private sector on a PPP, on a, a public private partnership. Tipik lang kini sa mga pagay muon pa sa Kapitolyo aron mas muda ko usab ang makolekta nilang revenue karong tuiga. Kini aron usab matunol nga to sa mga labing nang inahang ng mga subwanon pinaagi sa ilang gitanyag nga mga programa. Our caravan of services, we are reaching out to the PWDs, the fisher folks, the farmers and um, the frontliners, our barangay health workers. Navarro, CCTN News. Kasamtangan gipahunong sa gagamahanan sa lungsod sa Badian ang canyoneering activity. Diya sa maong lungsod, gubikan sa nesenate ng mga pag-uwan. Kini base usab sa ilang gipost sa social media account sa Municipal Tourism Office. Diya sa maong lungsod, matod pa nga girekomendar ang kasamtangan pagpahunong sa canyoneering tungod sa nabantayan nga pagsaka sa tubig sa maong dapit nga posibleng magda o grisgo kung nablihan ang maong site ngadto sa mga bisita. Nasayra nga bisan o guay uwan ang downstream kuya o gihapon sa maong tubig gikan sa upstream tungod sa posibleng mukalit lang o kusog ang bulog sa tubig din ang canyoneering sa badyan may usa sa mga sikat nga tourism destination sa probinsya sa Sugbo. May butyag ang Department of Education din ni Sarion 7 nga anaa pa sa dili mo minus 1.3 milyones ka matinunan din ni sa Central Visayas ang na-enroll karong tuiga ang kasayuran ihatod ni Gian Navarro. Subsub na usab ang pagpangandam sa Department of Education 7 alang sa hingpit ka pagbalik sa klase karong Agosto 22. Ana pa sa di mo minus 1.3 million ka mga tinunan ang naka-enroll na aron makaskwela karong school year 2022-2023. 70% kini gikan sa target nga 2 milyones ka mga tinunan lukop rehiyon. Bato di Deped 7 Director Dr. Salustiano Jimenez nang wala pa malakip sa pag-encode sa mga enrollees, mao ang mga tungaan nga nimutang sa mga lagyong lugar. So natay mga almost 500 schools pa nga wala pa in town ka encode labi na katong mga tuas sa Bukiran o sa mga isla no nga wala internet, wala wala kapasidad. So they have to go down pa para mag uh, mag uh, encode. Bisan pa man sa ilang kaandam alang sa panahon sa ting skwela, Giangkon ni Dr. Jimenez nga adun ni mga tunghaan ang hangtod karon wala pa na repair human giguba sa bagyo. Monggi sugdan karong adlawa sa Mabono National High School ang Brigada Eskwela Caravan sa Rehiyon nga nag-auhag sa ubang mga stakeholders nga moabag usab sa pag-repair sa mga gubang classrooms. Kini aron mas maauhag usab ang mga ginikanan pagpabalik og skwela sa ilang mga anak nga mas luwas taliwa sa nagkalain-laing mga hulga. Kato na lang yun ato, ah, katong mga totally damage nga kinahanglan o replacement kay uh, dili yun siya, uh, dili na yun siya ma, kuan man, ma-repair. So kinahanglan yun siya bago. 
So naghulat po na kay DPWH man ang uh, implementing agency ani. Sa nasayran, pipila ka mga pribadong kumpanya o ubang organisasyon ang mitulun na sa ilang tabang nga to sa DepEd 7 gikan sa mga cleaning materials, medical supplies, school supplies o daghan pa. Butang ang ipanghinaot sa ahensya na mutabang usab ang ubang mga grupo aron mabalik ang naandang kalagsik sa mga tunghaan. Pwede pa ka itong eskwila, ito nang iauha, ganap po sila report card. Kaning report card mo ni ang menu of needs sa eskwilahan. So, unsa sa ang mga panginanglanon sa eskwilahan aron uh, matanaw na lang sa itong mga stakeholders o kung sa ilang angay o pwedeng matabang. Ian Navarro, CCTN News. Mawakad to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ang atong Sire Corinta Isyate karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa manukad live sa CCTA Chapel. Daghang salamat. is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padilio and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family.
My dear friends, in our Mass today, let us ask the intercession of Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration, for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of our fathers, who brought the martyr Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross to know your crucified Son, and to imitate him even until death, grant through her intercession that the whole human race may acknowledge Christ as its Savior and through him come to behold you for eternity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord God said to me, As for you, son of man, obey me when I speak to you. Be not rebellious like this house of rebellion, but open your mouth and eat what I shall give you. It was then I saw a hand stretched out to me, in which was a written scroll, which he unrolled before me. It was covered with writing front and back, and written on it was lamentation and wailing and woe. He said to me, Son of man, eat what is before you. Eat this scroll, then go, speak of the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me the scroll to eat. Son of man, he then said to me, Feed your belly and fill your stomach. With this scroll I am giving you. I ate it, and it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. He said, Son of man, go now to the house of Israel and speak my words to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, Amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Most of us have grown up in terms of stature, and many of us have reached a good status in life, while still a few of us have been struggling or deprived in terms of stature or status in life. And yet, all of us are invited to become small, that is, childlike, and to welcome those who are small or little. For instance, the child, the socially unimportant, the underprivileged, the weak, the voiceless, the oppressed, the destitute, the neglected, and even those who are discriminated against. If I try to paraphrase today's responsorial psalm, I suggest that to be able to taste that sweetness of God's promise for our life, we have to make sure that we do not despise the little ones who are among us. We make sure that we all give them a shepherd's care. Brothers and sisters, while it holds true that life is so sweet when one is so great and famous and when one has a lot of achievements and accomplishments, but as the gospel today reminds us, true greatness, true happiness in life True sweetness can only be found in following God's will, in our full dependence on God, by never losing sight of God, by holding on to Him no matter what, even if we have grown tall or mature in stature, even if we have reached a stable kind of job and a wealthy status in life, may we instill the childlike attitude. And another thing, true greatness, happiness, and sweetness of every disciple is in the welcoming attitude that we give to those little ones in our communities by not despising them, though they are the least, 
the last and the lost ones. May Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, a Carmelite saint, intercede for us. Please rise for the prayers of the faithful, the community of Jesus' disciples is marked by humility and concern for the lost sheep. Let us pray that we may have the heart of Jesus who goes after the stray and the lost. In every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the church preach the primacy of mercy over strict justice and obedience to laws and ordinances, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May church and political leaders seek greatness not in power and fame, but in humble service to the little ones in the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we welcome and serve Christ in the many manifestations of the little ones, the humble and the poor, the malnourished, the deprived, and the exiled, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we welcome with joy the lost and the stray who have returned instead of reminding them of old wounds, not giving the opportunity for this to heal, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the 99 who did not stray thank the Lord for the safety of his fold, for the tranquility of their conscience, and the assurance of his love. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we are keepers of each other, responsible for our brothers and sisters. May we journey through life as one pilgrim people and together enjoy the peace of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Teresa Benedicta of the Cross win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, poured out like Christ's 
to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Palma, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. You should enter under my roof. Say the word, his soul shall be. The body of Christ. Of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Mm -hmm. 
Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Teresa Benedicta of the cross a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Parish of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines 